Hey guys, welcome to Old Soul Farm. Catherine, beekeeper Catherine today. Uh, we are getting ready to do a hive check. It is fall time and we're hoping to be able to pull some honey frames to do some honey extraction. But I just wanted to give a quick update since it has been so long. Out of the four hives that we had, we did lose one of them. Um, it just was weak. I That's wax moths in the end wax moths ended up getting into the hive and wax moths don't come unless your hive is already weak i did not see mites in there but i guess just with we we did have some queen issues and it just was not a very strong hive so the wax moths came in and ruined it so we only have three hives but i think at least two of them are very strong so we're very hopeful and we're still still good to go but there's a quick update um if, if in the video you see one that's just one one frame, one box high, because that's the one that's pretty much gone. So that's where we're at. So here we go. Hurts my back bending over too much sometimes. This is what we call an empty frame. This is what a frame looks like before they start to build comb on it. A whole lot of nothing. And then, phase two, they start to build some comb. You kind of see the tan colored comb there starting to build up. You know, and eventually it starts to look like this. The one down there with the pollen. I'll have to tap brood on the next one, I think. Okay. Lots of larvae and cat brood. The white things are larvae, and then the bumped outward um, cells are the brood. That's how you know it's different than capped honey, because it's pumped. It's bumped outward. This one has one coming out right now. Turn it. Right in this area, I think. You see it? Oh, this one side does too. Not right there. I don't know how long it'll take though. Happy birthday! There's twins, one on this side. <laughs> Alright, so this particular hive um, was our new hive this year. We did almost lose it. I'm really glad to see that we have some larvae in there. But um, it's not strong enough yet to do anything with. So there is there is some capped honey in here, but we're not going to take any of it because it's it's no excess like they need it to overwinter to survive the winter so at this point the plan with this hive is that on our next check we might have to um, shrink it down because really like the this box and this box had two frames of brood that we might be able to like put the two into the other one and just start to move them down so that they stay closer together for winter because that's when they're more likely to survive mm -hmm. when they're closer together and warmer so we can move them down and then have a honey, it's called a honey super, um, have one just filled with honey, then the two, two boxes of bees would feed on one honey super and then survive the winter. So that's kind of the plan. We really with all of them, if we can, so, yeah. Look who also knows how to check a hive. That's Mark, everyone. Hi. He just doesn't get to 
do it very often, but I don't know if you can count all those boxes there. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six, and it's on, you know, whatever height that is. So that means little old me's not uh, reaching that box there, so he's got to check that one. Here we go. This is the top box that I'm just starting to get into, and you can see on this side how they're just starting to build out. Right here, there's a little bit darker spot and another darker spot. When you turn it around, you can see they're building this out, and they're already starting to fill it and cap it with honey. Um, so as I get into the next one, you'll see how well uh, this one looks like it's doing from everything we're seeing right now. So give me one second, and I'll pull out the next frame. And there you can see a decent amount of capped honey on that side. Wow, there. that's what we like to see. Very cool. And so far, obviously, we've only been in two frames, but there's no pests or anything yet. Yep. All right, let's keep inspecting. All right, so you can see the blue and the green box are um, on the bottom, and the bottom two are normally what we try to keep as brood. So we found brood in one of the higher boxes, so the white box is getting moved down to be closer. So the brood is all closer together, and then uh, the top, that green one, and the blue one next to it, it's all got really good starting comb, drawn comb, and some uncapped honey. So we're just kind of putting it back together that way. Um, over here, in these open boxes down here, the white one is the one we're using right now to collect honey. So we were able to get five frames of honey out of um, that hive, that second hive there. The green box is just one we brought that has empty frames in it in case we needed it. And the yellow one is, um, is what we're using. That was the one that had the most like almost capped, completely capped that we could have taken if we really wanted to, but either way, it's like the next best thing. So we're putting that on the top um, to continue working, but then maybe it makes it easier for us to grab if we need to grab any replacements. So to get a full 10, the goal is to get 10 frames of honey so that we can extract and harvest. So this is our hive number one. This has always been a strong hive for us. We actually split this one to get hive two. I don't know, last year, the year before, I don't remember exactly when we did it. Um, but it was very strong, but also very temperamental. Like every time we could, I got into it, it was very difficult and I didn't enjoy it very much. So we actually put a queen excluder on this one. was because the queen is not marked um, and so a queen excluder is let me put this back together and I'll show you the queen excluder is a wired a queen excluder is a wired screen right here that you just lay on top of your brood box or in this case it was boxes I didn't feel comfortable moving it down to just one box of brood but we normally do keep two boxes of brood so the queen can't fit through this but the worker bees can so the queen stays down and forces her to lay in the bottom two boxes and then so that way we know everything up top is only going to be honey which makes the checks go much quicker and the problem with what we see in some of the other frames is that the queen starts laying and she's laying in amongst honey and you can't you can't harvest that so uh, it's good for them to use to survive the winter but we don't get to harvest it so though we have not done it with the other hives there's definitely a benefit to keeping the queen where we want her so that's our queen excluder Alright, 
So, a little recap for what happened today. We were able to get 10 frames of honey from between the two hives, between hive number one and number two. So we collected that and we do not extract ourselves. So we're going to take it to our extractor guy who said he could take care of it for us. Um, so overall, I think we're probably done collecting for this year and anything else that the bees do from now on, we'll just let them keep, maybe redistribute to um, like between the hives to make sure they all have enough to survive the winter. So we're just happy this is our first year that we've gotten a summer extraction and a fall extraction. So this is really cool for us to be able to do that this year. So thanks for watching. Uh, if you have any questions, leave a comment. Um, otherwise, that's it for us. I lost the dog. Bye. Right there. Oh, maybe you should be the Pied Piper. Where? For real. Right there. Right there. Right there. It's by the light. Like right the second, or? I don't want to let any more in. I caught it. So now you're going to let it free. Now I'm going to let her go. Hope it survives.